Good afternoon. I am Berinthia Levine, Vice President for University Advancement and Executive Director of the CSU Foundation. It is my distinct privilege to welcome all of you here today and to thank you for joining us on this very auspicious occasion, the dedication of our Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel Honors College. We are delighted that Morton Mandel is with us today and we are deeply grateful to the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel Foundation and the Mandel Supporting Foundations for their investment in CSU and their commitment to developing the world leaders of tomorrow. Mort, on behalf of the CSU Foundation, we salute and thank you for your belief in CSU and its students through your extraordinary philanthropic support. You're just the best. It's now my pleasure to introduce the chairman of the university's board of trustees, Bob Rawson. Thank you, Berinthia, and thank you all. It's my honor and pleasure to be here to offer or add my own special greetings on this special occasion on behalf of my colleagues on the trustees and also thank on behalf of the trustees and me personally, Mort, you and the foundation for what you're, what you're doing for CSU and for the Honors College today. I've had the pleasure of knowing Mort for uh, a lot of years, not all of his years, but a lot of years. I, I first met him in the context of his business career during, when he was building Premier Industrial into a really extraordinary business. and. Since then, I have had occasion, had occasion to watch him as he engages in philanthropy in a very big way. And it's been interesting to me to watch him apply the same standards, the same style, the same techniques to philanthropy that he applied to his business. It'll be no surprise to any of you and no more that you got to have a plan, and the plan has to be in the direction of excellence. And that's what we humbly believe he has applied in judging Cleveland State and our Honors College and the principles that, that this college stands for. Because we, education has been one of the foci of the Mandel Foundation and of Ward. And one of the things he has been interested in through education is in preparing young people to play the role that they have the ability to play in a free society. And we feel here at Cleveland State as we we work on engaged learning, that, that's precisely what we're trying to do. And Mort, what you and the foundation are doing today in establishing scholarships for honor students and, a, and an endowed chair does exactly that. It helps to launch our students in the direction that they have the ability and the potential to play. So Mort, I end now by just saying again, thank you very much. We are profoundly grateful. Good afternoon. I'm Liz Leifelt, and it is my distinct honor to serve as the Dean of the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel Honors College and the Mandel Professor in Humanities. The very generous gift of the Mandel family has made this college possible. Our students are supported by generous full tuition scholarships and are freed from the anxieties of figuring out how to pay for college. Given these opportunities, they excel and make noteworthy contributions. I started a practice last year of Dr. Leifelt's brag board, it's right inside the office, a board in the front of the office where students post their achievements and share their successes. So I've watched as our students get accepted to medical school, move into careers like being a nurse in the surgical ICU at the Cleveland Clinic, get selected for academic honor societies, get chosen as college valedictorians, get scholarships to attend law school, land plum internships, and generally excel. And importantly, our students give back. They serve as officers in various student organizations, work as tutors, and engage in community service projects. I believe that these things are possible not simply because our students are high achieving, which they certainly are, but also because of the community and purpose that being members of the Mandel Honors College affords them. When I meet with prospective students, I tell them that joining the Mandel Honors College at Cleveland State 
will provide them with a home for their ambitions and their aspirations. They spend time together in classes and in our facilities. It is in this environment, then, that our students come to regard their membership in the Mandel Honors College not simply as a privilege, but as a responsibility. It is here that they grow into future leaders. The Mandel Honors College lives and breathes at the center of Cleveland State University, an urban public university with deep roots in the local community. By recruiting and retaining academically talented students who are becoming strong leaders, we enrich the experience in all of our classrooms and throughout the campus community. So Mr. Mandel, thank you. It is your gift that makes all of the things I've just described possible, and that means that every day I get to see the transformative power of the Mandel Honors College in the lives of our students. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Titus Lungu. Titus is a senior mechanical engineering major and a true ambassador for the college. Titus. Good afternoon. My name is Titus Lungu, and I am an honor student here at CSU um, in my final year in the mechanical engineering program. Over the past three years, the Honors College has been instrumental to my academic and professional growth. Besides the obvious financial blessing that has given to me and my family, it has also given me the opportunity to reach further and discover more of the world than I may have otherwise been able to do. Throughout my college years, I've come to the realization that the world is like a beautifully painted canvas. Upon high school graduation, many students, myself included back then, have a truncated view of what, um, what this piece of art is like, only being aware of a small corner of it when in reality, there exists a vast, exciting expanse of color and unlimited possibilities. College is a time to explore this vast expanse of beauty, and the Honors College has helped me explore much farther than, than I would have ever imagined. It has allowed me to take higher level courses and gain a deeper understanding of the material, and it has allowed me to interact more closely with my professors um, and, and gain more understanding of the material in that fashion as well. The approachability of Dean Layfeld, the program directors, advisors, and staff also gives us students valuable help and tailored guidance in our journey through college. It is clear that the Honors College has the well-being and success of its students as its foremost goal, and I think this was most visible in the large amount of, um, of, inter of interaction that we were encouraged to have in the interview and selection process for the dean, and I know the university made an excellent choice. The connection with the program faculty as well as the close-knit bond with my peers um, has allowed me to get to where I am today. About a year ago, I began being interested in doing robotics research and attending graduate school, which I had not considered before. Conversations with Dean Layfeld and working with my peers has allowed me to begin down this journey and has led to me working in labs at CSU and Case, meeting the director of the NASA Glenn Research Center and applying to PhD programs across the nation. Finally, the Honors College is like a family made up of determined and passionate individuals. I have friends with prestigious internships at Moen and the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland, a friend going on a relief aid trip to Nepal this winter, and many others who are leaders across our campus and our entire city. Um, the students of the Honors College are like a spark, each in their own way, and the college is, a, is like a, um, kindles the fire and dreams of our passions and helps us spread them throughout the world. I especially wish to thank the Mandel family for your long-lasting support of the program and for making your change to a college a possibility. I wish to thank Dean Leifeld and the entire um, program faculty for always taking the time to listen to our students and help us along our journey. And last but not least, I wish to thank the students of the Honors College for surrounding me with like-minded and ambitious individuals that I can work with and learn from throughout my college years. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. And we wish you all the best of luck. What a great example of our Mandel Scholars in our Mandel Honors Program. It is now my privilege to introduce the President of Cleveland State University, Dr. Ronald M. Berkman. <clears throat> Thanks to all of you for joining us 
for what is truly a transformative moment in the history of CSU, and that is the dedication of our ninth college, the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mendel Honors College. <clears throat> so I am profoundly grateful to the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mel Foundation and the supporting foundations for making the gift that allowed us to take this honors program from a program to a college. Now this Buoner Mort, okay, will from this day forward be carried to the podium in every single commencement that takes place at Cleveland State University. And it will stand next to the College of Law the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, the College of Science, uh, as one of the pillars, one of the foundations of what this university is. So this is forever. Your gift is forever. I want to also thank um, my colleagues, the board, for being here. Actually, they're my bosses, uh, but I like to call them <laughs> my colleagues. Uh, Bob Rawson, the only person in America to have been the chair of the Princeton Board and the Cleveland State Board. Okay, uh, I doubt that will be equaled by anyone, um, but takers can come. Uh, Tom Adler, um, a tremendous, uh, a tremendous board member, a tremendous community activist. Uh, Steve Kirk, Richard Bowen, and Bill Joko, all members of the trustees here. And also want to recognize uh, President Michael Schwartz, President Emeritus Michael Schwartz, uh, who began the honors program at Cleveland State University, planted this seed. Um, so I'm glad he's here to see and watch it grow. So Mort Mendel has devoted his life personally and professionally to the goal of changing the world. There's not many people who say, I have a goal of changing the world there are fewer who actually mean it, um, and there are even fewer who put their money where their mouth is. Uh, and indeed, that is the goal. He has been a driving force for positive change both here in Cleveland, around the country, and indeed around the world. He is a proud native Clevelander who earned his money, it says here in the script, by selling hot dogs peanuts, and popcorn at Cleveland Municipal Stadium as a boy. That's true? true. That's true. Mort Mandel grew up to be a self-made leader and philanthropist. In 1940, he and his brothers bought their uncle's auto parts store for $900 and grew Premier Industrial Corporation into one of the most successful companies in the history of the New York Stock Exchange. Since founding the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mendel Foundation in 1953, the Mendels have been funding social initiative leadership throughout the world. Now, Mort, although no one would believe it, is 94 years young. He walks faster than me. He walks straighter than me. Um, and. Uh, it is, it is this mission that keeps him going. It is this mission that drives him. Uh, it is this mission that uh, gets him up in the morning um, and, uh, and has him punch out after a typical 12-hour day. But he chooses, as Chairman Rawson said, okay, he chooses his projects and he chooses his people. Um, and I recommend to you, I recommend to you his book. Uh, it's all about people, because all of us in this room know that at the end of the day, it's all about people. And when you get done reading the book, you'll know which people it's really about. <laughs> how you identify them, how you cultivate them. Uh, there are plenty of management development books out there. This one is readable. This one is direct. Uh, this one is spoken from Mort's experience uh, and from a strong belief system. So he's been committed to the advancement of higher education and to the development of future leaders. 
And today's gift, this gift by the Mandel Foundation, really is an investment mark, really in a next generation of leaders. Leaders that grow out of our neighborhoods, leaders that grow out of the west side, leaders that grow out of the east side, leaders that grow out of every neighborhood, leaders that come internationally to come to Cleveland State. Uh, so we truly are, and it's our mission um, to build, sustain, and have these young people reinvest their leadership skills in the development and redevelopment of this great city. Thanks to them, what started as the program a decade ago, today formally becomes a college. And 500 plus students are now enrolled in the University Honors and University Scholars program are receiving an education that will not only transform their lives, and it does transform their lives, those elements that they talked about, the ability to learn with peers, the ability to be in a small, connected community, the ability to have a global expanse in their learning experience, the ability to be challenged, to be asked to walk the extra mile in every single course that they take here. These are the things, um, as you know better than anyone, that grow leadership. So it's my privilege now um, to introduce to you uh, the man who has created the ninth college at Cleveland State University, Mort Mendel. First, I want to thank uh, those of you who said uh, such wonderful things about me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and uh, actually, I thought the compliments were a little less than I'm usually, I usually, I usually receive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, as to those of you who planned this, uh, from the moment we got out of our automobiles, uh, I would say, that I've been to a lot of these, some about the Mandels, some about others. Uh, I'd say the trumpet, <laughs> the applause, the lineup, the, the, the actors that you got from central casting or whatever, <laughs> uh, very impressive. So this has been uh, a, a, a privilege to sit and listen to, uh, to uh, your sharing my ideas with the whole group. Uh, Bob, uh, uh, I thank you for the nice things you said about me. We have gone back uh, quite a few years. Uh, I said to one of your partners, D Dick Pogue, when we moved into our new building at, uh, right across the street from North Point, that don't feel bad about being in the second nicest building in that particular area. <clears throat> uh, seriously? Uh, I consider this a privilege. I know that uh, philanthropist donors uh, help make a lot of wonderful advances possible. But it's only when the investee, the person who uh, receives the philanthropy, that the dream can be realized. Giving the money is important, uh, uh, you know, uh, for sure. <clears throat> But my brothers and I, and me personally, really consider gifts like this an investment, an investment in the better world we all want. I'm guessing everybody in this room, including the students, uh, want the world to be a better place, want to see it personally, want to fulfill our own personal dreams. But uh, there's a certain amount of goodness in the kind of people that are in this room that gets uh, expressed in ways like this, whether you're the dean, whether you're a member of the board, whether you're the president, uh, whatever your task is, or the president emeritus, whatever your task is. It's people like us, if I can say that, that are the forces that counter the, uh, 
maybe crazy is the only word I can think of, events going on in the world. It's just like a big lunatic asylum. And the investment that we make in something like the Honors College, in education where a lot of our money has gone, most of it to higher education, but in education where people like us can continue the fight and people like the Honors students, they're the ones who are gonna continue the fight. That's why it's such a privilege to make this investment. I mean, I want to help everybody, you know, be global. <clears throat> but this is an investment in people who are likely to be the leaders uh, of the future, not just at uh, Cleveland State, but in other philanthropy and other investments we've made in higher education. We've invested in ways, we've grant made donations in ways that represent to us an investment in the possibility, in the likelihood that the people who get to experience the educational process maybe because of us, uh, that those people will help in the fight. <clears throat> when this is unveiled, which I assume it will be, there's a sign here. <laughs> You'll see there's a quote. I know I took out the surprise. <laughs> You'll see there's a quote that really, I don't know how many words, 30, 40 words, that really represents the, uh, the basic concept around our philanthropy. I will tell you, without mentioning numbers, that we bought, you heard the president say, we, we started our business in, in, uh, in uh, 1940, and we scraped together $900. <clears throat> and we bought this small company, actually, from my uncle, who uh, asked us when he said, uh, when we talked about our buying his, the business that he was leaving, he said, how much can you raise? So we got together, <clears throat> and we came back the next day and said $900. And, we've, and he took it. And we figured out about two, three months later, no matter what we would have said, we could have said $600. <laughs> so, in my list of mistakes, Bob, that's the first one. <laughs> but we've invested a lot of money uh, in our philanthropic endeavors. It's a big number, not just compared to $900. And I'm thrilled that we were able to do it. <clears throat> and it is, I just repeat, especially for faculty, especially for students, we are making a bet that that money is going to give us a big return on investment. And so uh, thank you all for uh, all the nice words. You can continue saying them if you want. <laughs> and uh, I'm very pleased to those of you who represent Cleveland State University. I'm very pleased to be your junior partner. Thank you all very much. So, um, first we have a uh, party treat that you can take home. Uh, you should have a party treat that you can take home. Um, and um, I know we'll hang proudly um, in the gallery at the foundation commemorating all that you've done and all that you've built. So, this is the Jack Joseph and Mandel Honors College. Dedicated today, November 9, 2015. Come on up, everybody come into, the, into this area. Okay. So now, if the students would, after your spirited welcome to Mr. Mandel when he came, give me a spirited countdown, okay? Uh, for us, again, to unveil this, uh, which will always be, which will always be uh, a tribute to you, your foundation, and what you've created here. Should we go from 30? <laughs> Five? <laughs> 
<laughs> about ten. Is it doesn't ten give a little ten. more expense than That's five? Good. Let's go. Ready? All right. Ten, ten nine, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I want to read those words that Mr. Mandel referred to because um, there's not 40 words there, Mort. Okay, I, um, there's probably 20 words there, but 20 words that never better captured okay, um, what, what you've done. The hallmark of our philanthropy is our commitment to invest in people with the value, ability, and passion to change the world. That's it. Uh, I want to make it very clear to all of the students, and I say this with love and affection, I want to make it clear to all of the students that I have great expectations for you all to pay us back. <laughs> How you pay us back is not in money in finding your own ways to make life, to make the world a better place, to improve the quality of life for everyone. That's how you can thank Jack, Joe, and Mark. Is it a deal? <laughs>